Uh, it's evening. We've just got. Uh, you can't can't see a bloody thing. We got the dinghy on deck there. Got the sail cover off. Main's ready to go up, and I'm um, ready, ready to head out early tomorrow morning. All right, it's uh, 4 a.m. and we're just getting ready to go. This is the bit you never see in the videos. <laughs> A bit where we're up early. Uh, first thing is just get all the lines out, get all the um, sheets and the halyards out of the rope boxes, and we um, we just figure of eight everything, put it out of the winch. We just get everything ready to run. Uh, I'll hoist the mainsail. Main's still down. I'll hoist the main, then we'll lift the anchor and, um, and we'll sail out. Really nice breeze. So close up the front of the boat, lifting the anchor. We've got the... Can't see it, but the main's up. Main's up. I should just disconnect the bridle. And, um, and then we'll just sail out. All right, we're off. We're um, just sailing out of the bay, full moon. How are we clear ahead? Yeah, I'm okay. Beautiful morning. <coughs> About 5.30. Got away really good this morning. Got away nice and early. A bit after, probably about 4.30 a.m. by the time we got away. It's lovely out here. Super light breeze. Just got the little reacher up. And the main. Couple of big storms out offshore. We're um, we're just ghosting along, anywhere from sort of five to eight knots in the puffs. Beautiful. Cruising along nicely. Beautiful little bit of breeze. Probably in about six to eight knots. We're doing pretty much doing the uh, similar speed. Cloudy just woke up. And she's doing our morning juice. How's it going, Juice Lady? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So now it's time for our morning juice. Let's see how much juice we can get on the cockpit floor. That's my little passage. Oh, 
Well, there's a first time for everything. After midday, we've had around about um, anywhere from sort of six to ten knots of breeze since we left, and it's sort of been north or uh, just just west of north, and uh, and super light. It's been like this the whole time. Some um, co rock knock up in the distance. A little Thai fishing boat up there. say every good boat every good ship has a good first mate what you doing first mate lunch and dinner lunch and dinner yeah. oh what is it so we'll have a bag with um, asparagus rice yeah for lunch yeah and some lentils and uh, sweet potato mainsail up which is giving us a little bit of a push but not much and uh, we'll probably be in another couple of hours at 10 mile to go this is Koedang, this is the Bhutangs we'll just go in and anchor here the night and then uh, tomorrow we'll uh, truck off again and um, head to Langkawi Yeah. Right. It's typical to understand which side is the 
here we've got the sunset. Then over here we've got the moonrise. Not bad. Beautiful night. Uh, it's around about it's coming up to six past seven thirty. You can see the full moon. Phone's not going to do it justice, but you know the winches and the rope and everything's casting shadows. There's so much light with that full moon. Do you want to just shake that jib on a little bit, babe? You can now smell the islands. We're only a few miles away. Can't see them, but they're just out there in front of us. We can see them clearly. And um, the breeze has just headed us. We were getting along really nice before. You're probably going to have to crank it up a bit, babe. It looks like it's... Uh... Well, you can see on the, on the plotter, we're coming in down here. We've got Koadang. We hung out here for a couple of weeks last season. We'll just pull in here. Drop the pick, and then um, tomorrow we'll head over to Coalipo, probably grab some pizza. So we arrived in um, we arrived in Coalipo last night. This is Coalipo here on our port side. We're anchored. Sun's just coming up about seven in the morning. A few other yachts over here. You know, you can see this is the main problem in Asia, Southeast Asia. I don't know if you can see in the water, but this is all rubbish. Everywhere in the water here, we're, we're just surrounded by rubbish. But obviously, um, we're going through a bit of a tide line at the moment. You tend to get this when the tide changes and you get the tide line, the line between the two different tides. And um, yeah, it's really sad. It's really sad. We didn't see a lot of litter yesterday when we were sailing down and you normally do. But, um, but wow. Surrounded by it now. Surrounded. And this is just one little island, you know, 30 miles offshore. So we're not even close to the coast. And, um, I don't know if the video is capturing it that well. But every little thing you see in the water is rubbish plastic bottles, plastic bags, foam. Yeah, it's. It's sad, it's really sad. The saddest thing is that we know what we're doing to our oceans and we continue to do it. Those in power allow it to continue to go on. And it's heartbreaking, it really is. It's heartbreaking when you live on the ocean and you, you, you see this firsthand, you see what we're doing.